I am doing a video. Yeah. So motivational video. What do you mean, stop? See, this is, I'm not taking this personal at all. Oh, stop, Daddy. It's so big stuff. Can you just uh, come out of the room? Okay, Daddy. Uh, you decided to okay. come in and interrupt the video, mm. hey? Mm. You coming out? I'm coming out. Okay, bye now. Goodbye. Yo, welcome to another edition of Make Having Motivation. It's Andrew J. Jules. It's Friday the 8th of May 2018. And today I'm going to discuss with you about not taking it personal. Because in time in our lives, sometimes we do certain things that our family, our friends, our partners, husbands and wives, uncles and aunties, nephews and nieces are not going to agree with. And the reason being is some people just don't like it. Some people don't like what you're doing. Don't let take it personal. Now, I know it's easier said than done. If your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your friend, someone close to you decides that they don't like what you're doing, some of you may take it personal and it may make a ripple effect on your relationship and you may go your separate ways. Sometimes that's inevitable and that's gonna happen, but there's occasions where you can avoid it. And the thing is best for you to realize and understand is just because you see something great, Others ain't going to see it great. And occasionally it might not be great and your people that are around you just care about you and want you to know. But you may not see it straight away. But the point is not to take it personal. And in that, res in that, in this re in that respect, basically, in this, what I'm saying is that if you decide you want to do something in your life and others don't really want to jump on the bandwagon and f join you, don't allow people to just knock you down because one, is your dream. Two, your vision. Unless you paint the picture perfectly with your words, paint the picture that's going on in your mind or how you see something, get close family and friends to see it and give you input and advice about it. But at the same time, don't take it personal. And we can expand on that. When you're driving and someone cuts you up, don't take it personal. I've seen people this week fighting over rubbish. Now, now I know for a fact that if they really were in the right sense of mind, they wouldn't be fighting over rubbish. And what am I talking about? We were taking rubbish to a skip. You know, you pay your council tax. We're taking rubbish to the skip. It was a long queue and everyone was waiting to dump their rubbish, whatever rubbish it may be. And people, one individual decided to jump the queue. And I'm talking about 20 to 30 car lengths of people waiting for them to go into the, the dump yard, whatever scrap yard, to dump their rubbish, yeah? The rubbish. And what happened? A guy decided to get really angry about it and really told this person that was jumping the queue that there's already a queue. And I was thinking to myself, are you, for, are you seriously for real? And then to make matters worse, he was looking to actually fight the guy. And I'm just thinking to myself, really? And the thing is, when we're driving, when we're walking, when we're talking, when we go into stores and when we go into certain in different establishments, things happen that's out of our control. And some people take it personal if someone talks to them in a certain kind of way. What I'm saying to you is don't give your power to someone else. Uh, just take it on the chin, not, not literally, hopefully, but just get on with it because life is short. And you just need to just focus. You need to stay positive. You need to just have that positive energy and don't let no one change your day and be happy with it. The more happy you are, the more you will attract happiness, the more you will attract good vibes, the more you will attract what you really want in your life, not what you don't want in your life. So the moral of the story is don't take it personal. If you're calling people because you want them to join your business and they're not picking up the phone or they give you a date, they give you a time, they, they, they schedule it and they're all ready to go and then you call them up and they don't pick up the phone, don't take it personal. Trust me and take it from me. I'm personally been through it all and seeing how it is. The reason why the 1% are wealthy and rich because they don't take things personal. They get on with it and they know that there's other people that will take them serious in what they want to do, what venture they're about, what business idea they've got, you know, what genius plan they're con conduct up, conducting, constructing is the word I was looking for. So that's what I have to say for you today. Continue to make a habit out of your great habits and knock out the bad habits one by one. Stay positive, productive and patient and believe this and achieve. Remember to be consistent, committed and confident and make a habit in God. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. You know it is every single day make having motivation. I'll see you tomorrow, Saturday the 19th of May 2018 with another additional additional edition of Make Habit Motivation. Thank you. I'm out.